And then I asked you to call to figure out what the allegations were. And then instead of you calling, you're saying that the allegations were that I was unfit. Yes. Okay, you said that you called. How was I unfit? That's something that you don't have to figure out. I haven't found out, and I just, you know. Okay, so you don't figure out how you're unfit, and you don't have a place to stay. That's not so. Could that be one of the reasons why? Yeah, I had a place to stay with the con. The con. I had a place to stay until I was conned out of it. Remember, keep in mind that I did have a false and roast in front of your niece, and I had a place to stay. And then I had a place to stay a second time in an apartment until I was conned out of that. Okay, so if you have supervised visitation rights. Well, you just said that you'd help. Okay, wait. Listen. I just want to know. Okay, if I just said I would help, right? Yes. So if I'm talking to you, first off, calm down. I'm talking to you. This isn't an argument. We're not getting into it. None of that. So I said I would help you, right? Yes. Okay, so if you have supervised visitation rights, do you have you ever had a supervised visitation with? No, you? but I would like to know what the allegations Wait, okay. are first. So, I, that's what I'm asking you to get, and because I, I I think that that's sadistic and sick to make false statements and then not give me the allegations. Like other parties, they let the party know what the allegations are. But they won't let me know my allegations because they don't. They don't have their con together. But they have no right to lie and slander me and then not tell me what the lie is because they don't have their con together. Typically, if you're going to terminate someone's rights, you present the allegations to them and not hide them for years. So you said that you would help. I like to know how yes, I can figure out what these allegations are. Okay, and I just said I would help you. That's what I want to know. But just I, you. But I just I'm asking you questions before I okay. call. Okay. Okay. Anybody, I need to get your, I need to get what what you have to say first. So I don't know what question. I've told you that it was corruption and you don't believe it. And I don't know what the allegations okay, were because I can't get. I because, don't. Because listen, I don't already said I care about you. Okay, but I don't know what the, I'm telling you that I is corruption and you okay, won't listen. hear me. I don't know what the allegations listen, are. Listen, I told you I care about you. And I'm willing to help you. But if you want me to help you, you have to let me help you. Because I'm trying to do my own thing, try to start my business. Ma'am, um, ma'am, that you said you interrupted me so and you said that you were gonna help me call in CPS. You, you okay, so, so we haven't yet to call. Like I, keep, I like I keep saying, I need to talk to you and get your side before I call anybody. So I've told I you repetitively over and over that I keep getting set up and you don't want to hear it. Because there's multiple people that can't get their because lives straight. Because you never told me who set you up. CP, the James Hastings out of CPS made false statements to the family court when he got caught in his cons along with who? CPS of Hillsborough, Texas, a social worker from CPS. When he got caught in his cons along with teachers from a task of school, they disappeared off the family docket, family court docket, 255th District Court. Because those are crimes. To make false statements as a family, CPS worker to the family court is criminal. So he got caught in his crimes and CP, the family court let him disappear. So when they got caught in their scheme, then they um, let some judge, Mary Murphy, that I never had met, to take my child custody rights away. So then each time I go to CPS to report it and get the allegations, since it's a con and a lie, they don't want me to know. Which interference with child custody happens to be a state jail felony. So since you said that you would help, I first, before I can you know, combat this, let me know what the allegations are. Since they are con and lying, they don't want me to know what the allegations are. You said that I don't have a place to stay. If I keep getting arrested, taking it, and getting robbed in front of my family member left and right, how am I going to get a place to stay? If I can't get help at all these different locations, the cities for everywhere I go, and then even when I get something, get robbed, if they're conning with my job, they're finding me out of funds left and right, how can any human be in progress? I mean, I honestly don't know how you didn't, weren't able to get help from City Square because you already know I'm a leasing agent and I know what City Square does. So they are. Well, supposed, but so you may, maybe maybe you, you should. Kind of so if they did not help you, maybe it's because maybe it's because something you did. Because okay, sure. It's everything's my fault. Everything's my fault. So 
I don't know how to progress because I keep getting false arrest and, and I call my father. That's what Cielo Ranch is. That's Cielo Ranch is. I don't want to stay in areas property. like that. I don't want to stay in areas you, like that. You okay, you probably don't, but you don't have a choice, do you? If you don't want to stay in a tent, you can oh, choose. That's true. Room. That's true. There but they're not offering the, the Cielo Ranch. What was the saying? They're not offering that either. Well, that's that's the why I was living in a tent. Is what is it? Beggars can't be choosers. Right, but you know, I, if I would like to be safe, but I don't have that right, so yeah, it does be the tent. But they didn't even offer. I don't. I wasn't offered that. You did say you're interrupting, and you did say you were going to call CPS. I don't think it's too much to ask this for them to have their con together after five years and tell me what I did wrong. So you said you were going to help. How do we find out this imaginary pit where you I cannot figure out what the con is on why my child custody rights were terminated? I have no clue. And since they can't get their lie together, they just say, we're not going to tell you, and you sit in that. So can we, if you're going to help find out how we can find this mystery on why my child custody rights were terminated, do you, I can't get a job if my the job is common, so I can't work there. If I can't purchase food and water in schemes, how am I going to get a job? If I can't get, if family members are putting me out for sitting on the sofa in schemes, in cons, if I'm getting defrauded out of funds every left and right, each time I build something up, there's a con to take it. How am I supposed to progress? Okay, well, they have went back in the time machine and stolen Social Security. I still haven't got the stimulus. You do tax work. I've never got a stimulus, and I keep asking you repetitively over and over about the stimulus. Mm -hmm. As well as trying to do it on my own and never got it in multiple different locations. What do you mean? Never mind. But I've never received a stimulus check, and we know we've been communicated that on how to get the stimulus check, and I still haven't received it. So if there's all these cons to keep me in financial distress, each time I get on my feet, there's another con. The story I, I go to, I build up nest eggs, and people con to deprive me out of funds like they did at several different uh, hotel stays. It's repetitively over and over again, defrauding me out of funds, each avenue stimulus, attorney general, child social security administration. And then we can't focus on that. We have to focus on my mental illness. Then I, you said, you interrupted me, said that you're going to help. It should not be a bottomless pit on what I've done. You said that someone made false allegations with you. And then they, you found out what the false allegations were. They won't tell me. So how did they, they told you what they claimed that someone said about you. How do I find out what the lie was that they said about me? You, you just said you were going to help. Yeah, but I asked you who would I call. You I don't know. You already had your own experience. So if you don't call know. CPS. Let's start, CP, let's start out with CPS. Who did you call to find out about your allegations? I didn't call. CPS called me. Well, why won't they call me back and tell me what I did wrong? No, they just came. They just came to visit my house. Well, if so they okay, they, hold on, hold on, hold on. They, well, CPS does. So they CPS took my child custody rights and won't visit me and tell me and call me. Tell you what That's CPS not a red flag to you. What CPS did to me? They came to see if what was being reported was true, and it wasn't. So I never heard. Okay, that don't you think that's a red flag that they don't want won't call me or talk to me, and then just saying something that happened and I won't talk to me about it. Then come discuss it with me. Won't let then let me go to court. Then give me an attorney. Then, then well, from what I heard, you went to court. They the, they have went back in the time machine and erased that and said Mary Murphy did it because they didn't want to incriminate themselves. Who was Mary Murphy? The judge that I've never met that terminated my child custody rights. Who told you this? What you said? What you heard? Who told you? So you who told you? You so said you what you heard? Who told you that? So you didn't. Who go told to court? you? You said what you heard? Who told you this? So you didn't go. You to don't court. want me to know who told you that? So you didn't go to court. They they evaporated that court date disappeared so they didn't go wouldn't go to jail and then they said who me, told me that, but Mary I, Murphy supposedly did who I've never met which is the proper family code and not to give me an attorney when I was indigent. All of these are not pop proper family codes. They don't want me to know what the neglect was. They said it's neglectful supervision. Michaela was there with me alone. Then they put, put it on Mike when the CPS worker incriminated himself. They put it on Mike, who's like special needs because of his stroke. So then they put it on Mike, had Mike do a restraining order, and then cover for him. Because he went up there and did a restraining order, but don't know why he did it. So that is a crime for him to do that, make false statements to a family court, but since a multitude of conspirators are... Okay, so you don't think it's, it best, that goes to you too? 
If you falsifying that she's being neglected now, you don't think that they she, know she's seen her and she was in bad condition. She's had bruises and she was I just asked you the other day, when was the last time you seen her? Not since my father's arrest, but I don't understand okay, why you said so, you're going to make phone calls okay, and then so, you won't do it. So when was that? When? Wh- how long has that been? The, the I saw her last on her birthday and she didn't look very good. Her hair was all over her head. She don't do a lot. They don't have a car. The, the, what did we do when we were together? Then we go to school gathering. She looked good last time I seen her. Well, and not, her hair was great. Okay, well not me. At that at the graduation. No. Okay, well did, did we go to school events? She do too. No, we don't. We, we went to Halloween and all kinds of school events. I know she does too. She, no, she doesn't. She does. Okay. So, okay, well, if you condone that them robbing your sister or what, her child, I don't, I, I, I guess we're done. If you said you were going to call and then won't, but if and you can. I asked you who do I call and you said you don't know. I, the who did you call when you had your situation, I false statement? You. No, I didn't have to call them. Okay. They called me and said what they said they heard, and they came to investigate. Well, call CPS and call CPS and ask them. That wasn't it, so they left. Okay, well, call CPS and ask them how we get, find out what happened. Just call them on you. You said she wants to help. Call them and find out. Okay, well, give me your phone and I'll call them. Why can't you call on your own phone? Because why can't, or can I give you, I I'm doing something on my phone. What, recording us again? I'm doing something. I'm, I have other recordings. And I'm things not I'm, slow. So what are you doing? Recording us again? I don't understand. Like I asked you not I don't to understand. the other day? I don't understand why you won't call on your phone. Is there something going on on my phone? I don't understand why I can't call on yours. If, I mean, I'm handling your business. Because there, I told you that there's things going on with my phone. Or and you I, just record me and I don't and understand I, I why. I don't want to be recorded. Just call on your phone. If not, I mean, if you, you have your phone in your hand. If you love me or cared about me, then you wouldn't be recording me without my say-so. I don't know. I don't. I just want, you know, you interrupted me saying that you were going to help all these stage ornaments. Yes. Are all I, this psychological I mean, damage place to place to place to place. I can't get a breath. So it's obvious that you, obviously you don't want to help. Because if you, you have if a phone in your hand. Help, you wouldn't be heard. I'm talking about calling CPS. You have a phone in your hand. Use that one. You have, you have a phone. Never mind, ma'am. Don't, tablet. don't. Never mind. I don't know why so don't many. You got two phones on the tablet. Why don't you? Why don't? Why don't you want to use your phone? Is there something going on on my phone that you don't want? I mean, that you. Yeah, want... there's something going on on your phone. You record. I just, I don't think I deserve it. I don't deserve to be degraded, violated, mistreated, slandered. I don't think I deserve it. I'm sorry. So if that's the kind of help that you wanted to give me for from crying that I be walked on all on and I told I'm you. I'm walking over you. Well, you know, if you want to help, I would like you to help by calling CPS on your phone. So you're calling to help with CPS and you call, cut the radio back up? The music? Is your phone ready? I don't want to call on my phone because I think I'm calling scammers. So I would like you to call on your phone. Why not? Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me let me just let me see. Can you pause it? Because I can't hear you. Okay. So let me make sure I understand. You want to call, you interrupted me to help, and you will call CPS, but it has to be on my phone and not the phone in your hand. Okay, that's a red flag that something's amiss is going on. No, because I don't get anything done with my phone. And obviously you're aware of that. That's a red flag. That's something that's going on. Because if you if there if I was calling a legitimate people, you wouldn't mind calling on your phone to figure out what's going on. You have so the phone you in your hand. I just don't understand why I have to keep on repetitively getting violated. I don't deserve to be mistreated going through the trauma that I'm going through in every environment. I don't deserve it. And if you feel that I do, then we can just take another break. I don't deserve to be violated, walked all over, disrespected, humiliated, demeaned, uh, psychological torment in every single environment. I don't deserve it. With my kids, family, CPS, uh, scan artists on the phone, I just don't deserve it. And I'm sorry you don't feel the, the same way. Huh? I don't deserve to be violated, Gwen. I don't. And I'm sorry that you don't believe that I, uh, you feel that I do. I didn't say that. 
Well then, that, uh, you're violating me right now. How am I violating you? You're starting arguments. You're not. I'm not starting an argument with you. Okay. Well, it would mean a lot to me if you just called on the phone that's in your hand, because I think that I'm calling scammers. I've had two calls. So if you can use the phone that's in your hand to help me, like you said you wanted to do, that would mean a lot to your sister. I'm waiting for a phone call on my phone. Well, then if they call you, then they, that's okay. Then you can just end the call. No, with you can just use your phone. I don't want to use my phone because I talk to scammers. And I have to, that's why I'm trying to. Well, I don't understand. I don't, I don't. How, using your phone, do you go? Well, I, why, what, is it mentally ill for you to have a phone in your hand and want to use mine? That does oh, not it's make... mentally ill for me to have a phone in yes, my hand? Yes, because you're the one that's calling to help. How is it mentally, no, what you just said was mentally ill. How is it mentally ill for me to have a phone in my hand? Well, a phone in your hand and you won't call? You have the phone in your hand and you wanted to help me with CPS, but yet and still you won't call them with the phone in your hand? You want to force me to use a phone that I You want it... to force me to use my phone. Okay, that's you don't want to help, ma'am. You don't want to help. So you want to force me to use my phone and, it, and that's not mentally ill? Why I just can't use yours? I think that something's going on with my phone that you have to be completely aware of to force me to use my phone when you have one in your hand that you can call and use. I don't understand why I went to the FBI and then they're telling me that I, I have to call on my phone. And then I, they're telling me that I'm at the FBI what that I have to call on my phone. And then I'm at Attorney General and then they're telling me that I have to make calls on my phone. And I'm at Attorney General reporting stolen payments. But they're saying no, they have to you call you on your phone. I, I never got them when, when they were little. I didn't want getting them. Yes, I'm getting them because I wasn't getting paid them. But anyway, nonetheless, I'm there at the location, and then they're trying to force me to handle my business on my phone. How are you getting child Because I, I mean, once again, I was not, I never got them when I was supposed to. But you don't have a cable. I think that if someone could use avenues to disrespect, demean, and disregard someone in a sadistic behavior and violate. You don't I just, stop recording them videos, and you don't have a cable, and you still getting child support payments? You don't think that's gonna catch up with you? I ma'am, what in the world are you talking about? You don't have custody I, of Michaela? I have that I bet he was forty thousand dollars back in child support payments. What in the world are you talking about? Are okay. you staging conflict and arguments for psychological damage? Huh? So I don't can we just take a break? Because you helping is abusive. Oh, me helping is abusive. Yes, you helping me get with the CPS situation is abusive. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be abusive.